and I am going to do a seven day water fast. I'm just excited to see if I can do seven days just drinking water. I am very hungry. I just want to reset everything. And I found myself just drinking a lot of water. I have to act like I'm eating. Nothing in my system, just water. Mind is completely clear. Every day I am losing weight. Stomach pains and rumbles and all that stuff goes away. I have completed seven days of fasting. This is the first thing I will be eating. What's up everybody, it's your boy Nathan Pell and I am going to do a seven day water fast. I'm gonna go seven days with no food, none whatsoever. Today is day one. I just been drinking water and that's it. I'm just excited to see if I could do seven days just drinking water. During this fast, I will be meditating like crazy and I am gonna focus on no food or water. Let's go. Day one was pretty, pretty tough because as soon as I woke up this morning, I was like, I am starving. I want something to eat. I usually go have breakfast every morning, but today I did not do that. And it's crazy because the first day it's like, it's all your habits of doing things changes. Today is like really, really rough for me. I am very hungry. I'm not going to break my fast just to eat some chicken. Why am I doing it? I heard there's a lot of health benefits from fasting. Fasting is a great way to reset what you've been doing. You know, we just coming in from the holidays. I just want to take a nice reset. I just want to reset everything. I been studying what fasting does for the body and the mind, and I'm excited to embark this journey. I'm going to bring you on the journey. I'm going to bring you on the day to day on my fasting journey and I'm gonna let you in on everything like what it is to wait work out how do I feel on day one how do I feel on day two day three four five six seven I'm winding down from day one I'm actually gonna go to sleep in a couple of hours it was very rough this morning because I go to have breakfast every morning and I cut that out completely and I found myself just drinking a lot of water and going to the bathroom a lot it's been a shake up I'm holding strong I just completed day I'm excited to share more with you guys tomorrow on day two. So today is day one. We got it done. One down. Let's go. Listen, in order for you to be great, you got to become great. And the only way you're going to become great is if you believe that you are great. So do great things, deliver greatness, and become great. What's up, everybody? It's me, Nathan Pell. Today is day two of having no food. And I ain't going to lie to you. It was a bit of a struggle. Um, this morning when I did wake up, started out. I woke up out of the bed. I was like, all right, cool. I feel refreshed. I took off my little eye thing because I sleep with a little eye thing on my face. And I was just like, all right, cool. I got some energy. And I slept really good. I've heard that a lot of people said that they sleep, they sleep um, restless and rough, but I slept good. I did have a lot of energy. I did sleep very good. It feels good. I feel energized. And for some odd reason, I'm not hungry. But as the day went on, I got really, really hungry. My mouth had this taste like this, like I kept brushing my teeth to like keep my mouth fresh. Brushing my teeth and gargling, just keeping my mouth fresh because you have like this taste of like no food. That was annoying. But besides that, I went to the gym, ran on a treadmill for a bit, lift some weights. It's normal. It doesn't feel bad. I don't feel, I feel like I got more energy. I'm gonna do this for about an hour. I'll let you know how I feel after the hour is done. Do a nice little jog for 30 minutes and then read a book read a book while I was on a treadmill. So my energy was right. I actually ran for a longer time than normal. I had more energy. I don't know if it's because I was lighter. Yeah. There's no food in my system, but I did not have any problems running on the treadmill. When I got to the office and I was working, that's when I started thinking about food. Yes, I want to eat. I am hungry. I do want to eat, but I realize that's just habitual behavior. But I was still hungry. It did, it did, it did hit me when I was sitting down in the office. Um, I really had to have that willpower not to eat because I was really, really hungry. I love the health benefits of this, but um, yeah. My mind was telling me yes, but my stomach was saying no. So I had to make that come together in a sense to be on the same accord. I'm gonna stay busy, stay active, and um, get it done. My mind was so used to eating 
that my mind kept on saying, uh, salmon, uh, chicken. It is a challenge, especially if you've just been eating all your life and you know, you just know when it's lunchtime, you're supposed to go get something to eat. I was able to smell food from a far distance, which was crazy. I'm excited to see what day three brings. But right now, I am enjoying the process of developing willpower to not do one of the favorite things I like to do, which is eating. I'm here for it. Day two is done. Tomorrow's day three. Only a few more days to go. I'm in the office right now working on President's Day. I didn't even know that. Why is it so? Why nobody's in the office? But then, oh, it's President's Day. But it doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck about holidays. I instantly dropped some weight, which is kind of cool. I've been drinking a lot of water to the point that I got to stop because I kept on going to the bathroom. Yeah, day two is done. Turn I can't into I can because we can do anything that we put our minds to. So just remember that. Of course I like reading a book and walking on a treadmill. I'm a genius. So yeah, like I was saying, put all the fucking money in the stocks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Today is day three of me fasting and not eating. All right, I made it. This is what this is what it's come to. I have to act like I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? Because it's mind over matter at this point. It's not even about your stomach grumbling, it's your mind. So I have to act like I'm eating. So I got my plate right here. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna act like I am eating a T-bone shake. But yeah, day three is completed. One thing I'm gonna share after I finish eating my invisible food, that plate is clean dried out invisible food so this is my my invisible food on day three because it's mind over matter at this point now let me share with you my experience on day three day three was fucking crazy all right today i woke up full of energy full of life ready to go i'm like i bet i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna get it in continue on with the day i wake up late normally i wake up around three o'clock and today i woke up at six o'clock i'm not sure if it was because fasting or is because I went to sleep two hours later than normal. However, I do feel refreshed. I have a lot of energy. First of all, I was very relaxed, extremely relaxed. And I think it's because I was smelling food. Oh, I have a heightened sense of smell now. I can smell everything. I can smell people, I can smell food. I could just smell things. And I did start to smell some food to the point that I did go to one of my favorite cafes just to smell some croissants. Found myself just sitting there and watching people eating, like literally just staring and watching people eating. It gave me a different appreciation for food, I'll tell you that right now. But I realized it is mind over matter. I um, went to the gym, everything was fine at the gym. Still got my energy. I'm about to do some back stuff real quick. I feel good. It feels good. So far, so good. Two things, life is about lifting heavy weights. The heavy weights you lift, the better life get. You see me. And this is on a fast. I'm not eating anything. I am literally nothing in my system, just water. Just literally just water, just drinking water on a nice rainy day. And I'm continuing my workout like it's nothing. It's all the mental, the mental. It's all mental, it's all top here. I'm not worried about what's going on in the physical. Cause I know everything that's going on in the physical is phenomenal. It's all mental. That's all it comes down to. And when I say only the strong survive, it's all a mental statement. Ain't nothing about the physical. However, let's get that gym in. Let's go, day three down. I got it done. But I'm gonna tell you something what happened today though. While I was walking, after I did the gym, after I did some work, after I did all those things, while I was walking, I got smacked with tiredness. I was tired. And it was only like 12 p.m. Like literally at noon, I was famished. And not only famished, I didn't have any stomach pains at all. Cause right now it feels like nothing. Mind is completely clear and the execution is there as far as like delivering on work deliverables. Besides that, I am at the end of day three. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. This is Nathan Pell, and I am back to just let you guys know that I have made it to day four without any.
food, just lemon water and water and occasionally carbonated water. I am excited to say that we are more than halfway through this water fasting journey. I cannot believe it myself. We are four days in, tomorrow makes five days. And here are some takeaways that I experienced today. This morning, I woke up at eight o'clock today. It was later than yesterday. I am gonna tell you that I do feel a lot more rested. My body feels very zen. The word I was gonna use today is zen. I'm very zenful. I feel like I did not need to be anywhere today. Just doing some work. I pulled up to one of my favorite coffee shops to do some work. And um, I just wanted to tap base with everybody and just let them know that my fasting is going good. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling wonderful, and I'm enjoying it. So what I did, I went to the gym. Today was leg day. Got my legs in, did my one hour walk. I didn't feel any takeaways from when I do normally work out. I weighed myself today. I did drop another two pounds today. I noticed that every day I am losing weight. I went into the office today, I did work, I had conversations. I was full off of water, I drank a lot of water today. But today was very special, you know, I meditated today. And I realized while fasting, meditating helps me connect with source. It gives me a streamlined portal to the source. I reached out to friends, checked up on them. Called up a lot of friends today just to reach out and check up on them. Instead of sending a text, I called everybody and jumped on FaceTime. And I found that to be very cool to see what everybody else was doing. I realized I had a lot of patience with people today. I took a 20 mile walk today and I just walked, well, took about three hours going, three hours coming. So about a six hour walk. Today was very zen. The word of the day I'm going to use for this fourth day without any food is zenful. A lot of magical things is happening. A lot of magical things are happening. I feel like my body is at the optimum rest. I feel very rested. And I have not felt that in a long time. Because I'm always on go, 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 go mode. But my mind was very clear. I'm excited about day five because it's closer to day seven and I cannot wait to make something to eat. I said to myself that I am actually gonna take some cooking classes because I have another appreciation for food on another level. Like I want to know how to cook on a whole entire level. Like I said before, I normally, now I've been, lately I've been just watching people eat, cook, and make things. I even like to hear people say that they're cooking. Like, I mean, when they say they come, I'm like, what you cooking? What are you using? What ingredients are you using? What salts? What you doing? How you doing it? You boiled it for this long? I'm just, I just wanna hear food talk. I just have another appreciation for food on a completely different level. I am so excited to eat on Sunday. Like, I am mapping out what I'm gonna eat, how I'm gonna eat it, where I'm going to eat it, what it's going to feel like when I eat it. I'm all about eating it right now. And I just want to eat. My stomach has not been hurting at all. I haven't won any food. Definitely lost weight. So I just want you guys to know that there's no, oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat something. That feeling is completely gone out of my, but right now I am in a fantasy mode of food right now. So right now I'm thinking about how I'm gonna eat certain things. I was asked, what is the first thing you're gonna eat? I actually just want sliced avocado and some tomatoes and some papaya. <laughs> I just want some sliced stuff for the first thing I'm gonna eat. So I am excited about Sunday. Saturday is a full meditation day, which I'm excited about. That's the one day before I break my fast. But Saturday, I am going to meditate for about an hour or two. I might do an hour in the morning and an hour in the evening, but I'm going to meditate and make this fast very purposeful and meditate, manifest and pull things in. So I'm definitely excited about eating on Sunday. <laughs> That's what it comes back to. I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about eating on Sunday. But besides that, um, I feel a much lighter. 
like I said, my mind is really clear. Nobody was really getting to me, even when they was just, I just let people talk and it was just, like I said, communication is everything. And I was just communicating with people. Even if I didn't say anything, I communicated with them. I took a long walk today. I was able to think things through, I meditated. Today is day four. I'm excited for everybody that's on this journey. Tomorrow is day five. Day four, down, done. The day is over. In my country, they say this is a, how do you say it in your country? A phenomenal. The countdown begins tomorrow. It is day five and day five is completed. I have made it to day five. I cannot believe it with no food whatsoever. And it's been an amazing journey. Now, let me tell you what day five was about. Day five, I woke up super early, refreshed. I just wanna say good morning. It's about 3.45 in the morning and I'm back at it. Feeling good and my energy is up. Full of energy and I'm ready to go. So I'm about to go to the gym, read my book. I have no stomach pains. I have no mental thoughts about food. I don't even wanna eat anything. Like, like I don't even know what that feels like anymore. I'm actually thinking about picking up a hobby of becoming a chef. Like I wanna learn how to cook. I'm actually, I wanna learn how to cook. I have such an appreciation for food on another level. I realized I've been just taking food for granted at this level. Now I have an appreciation for the world. Like you ever just sit back and just look at the world and just be like, man, this shit is beautiful. Regardless of all the madness that's going on and all the turmoil that's going on, there's a lot of greatness that's going on. And I think if we shift our focus to the greatness that's going on and the good, we could see a whole different perspective, man. I'm just like, oh, how do you make this? How do you make that? I'm looking up different things on how to make different type of dishes. Like I'm obsessing about making food. I am just excited to be at day five. Tomorrow's going to be day six and then day seven and we are done. I'm fasting for seven days because this is a challenge for self and an enlightenment to tap into the higher powers, to understand who I am as a person, to see what powers I got. See what freedom feels like. You drop a lot of weight. And I'm not saying that's gonna be for everybody, but you just be carrying a lot of water weight, I guess. I feel like I'm floating right now. And it's almost like I'm on like pain medicines. That's what it feels like. It's like a natural pain medicine. Like I feel healed in a sense. My mind is super clear. I'm not thinking about food, I'm not thinking about anything, and I'm getting things done, I'm executing on everything, which is super cool, super cool. I'm out here fighting for freedom, man. And I know that in order to have freedom, you have to have some type of control of yourself. I was literally stopping every second to watch people eat. You know what I like about day five? That tomorrow's day six. And you know what I like about day six? I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm not gonna hold you. Fasting has been very enlightening. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I just, it slows everything down. Anyway, I just wanted to fill you guys in and give you a heads up. I know what I want to eat. I'm very clear on that. I'm gonna break my fast with a smoothie, a nice date smoothie. Yeah, a date smoothie with cashews and strawberries, almond milk feelings is everywhere. I got all type of feelings right now. And one thing I do have feelings for is food. I feel mentally aligned with the universe. We just have to shift our perspective, shift our thoughts, shift our minds to see the beauty in things. And right now, since my body is not processing in any food, um, I could really focus on the beauty around me and the beauty in myself as well. Um, I feel calmness like i was expressing yesterday i tap into a zen space and i feel at peace i feel good i mean it's a beautiful day today in the neighborhood you know you know i've been drinking water a lot of water and i've been noticing the different flavors in water there's so many different types of water and so many different flavors of water i find it interesting this is all about freedom man you know what I mean? We born into this thing and we don't even know what the fuck we doing out here. But we out here. 
Today's day five, we are finito. Tomorrow's day six, and after that, it's gonna be one more day to go. Let's keep it pushing. This is your boy, Nathan Pell. And I am here to tell you that today is day six. We started on Sunday because the strong started on Sunday. And this is day number six of fasting. I haven't eaten anything at all. It's a Friday and I am excited that tomorrow is day seven. I am very humbled. I did go through the entire day without thoughts of food. I wanted to share with you guys the experience. Today's been day six. I am really excited that tomorrow is the final day. It's the full seven days. Tomorrow is gonna be a full seven days and I'm super excited about it. I am glad that we got day six done. I'm excited about eating. I'm not gonna sit here and hold you. I am excited about eating tomorrow, but I am so happy to be eating on Sunday. I cannot express how much I feel, like I am, I cannot wait to eat on Sunday. However, I do put this as a check mark in the books that I did it for seven days, completed six days, and it feels good to be on the other side, to be this close to finishing. And I don't have any urges to eat. Uh, I dropped a tremendous amount of pounds. I dropped a lot. I dropped 10 pounds. Yeah, um, I'm really excited about day number six. Today's day number six. We got it down. The countdown begins. Tomorrow is day number seven, and we're going to be finished. It feels good to know that. And the week went by fast. I mean, six days went by like a breeze. It went by like a breeze. I think after day two, day three, day four, day five become a lot more easier. We are here now, and I'm excited to share some more details with you guys later on. But man, we are here. We are here. We are here. We are finished. Towards the end of the day, I started thinking about food. I started thinking about different ways to break the fast earlier, but fuck all that. I'm not going to do all that. What I'm doing right now is just going through the process. I was like, let me just shoot this video. I'm just happy it's about to be over. I learned a lot about myself. Most importantly, pushing things to the limit. Just say what we was going to do and deliver. And that's what happened. I fast for seven days. We're here at day six. I haven't had anything to eat. I just been drinking water and that's it. Woke up today, I was in routine. You know my normal routine, go to the gym, work out. But um, my energy is low. And I don't know if it's because I was doing a lot of running around earlier, but I do have low energy right now. And I think closer it is to the seventh day, it's like you're more eager to be like, man, hurry up and come. But I'm gonna just drink some boiled water just to put some type of something but um today is day six and we got through day six we did not have anything to eat a lot of great things happened this week though i don't know if it's alignment with with the source i'm looking to see how things unfold your boy is tired though i'm really am tired so pointers when fasting you definitely have to prepare to fast and when i say prepare that preparation is all mental what I've learned so far on fasting, right? I've learned that after two or three days, the stomach pains and rumbles and all that stuff goes away. It's all a mental game. At day six, I am feeling whole, meaning that I am not worried about the food at the moment. I do want to taste something, but I'm not, my mind is not there. My mind is at peace. You really don't have to do anything else because you're not doing anything else, really. You go on about your day, but you really do have to prepare mentally. It is a, the mental prep is insane because you're around food, you're around drinks, and you want those foods, especially like on this day, on this day, Friday, day six is done. One more day to go. Um, I learned a lot about myself. I learned to be patient with myself. I learned to uh, pay attention to myself. You know, you pay attention to yourself more when you're fasting. You're not on a go, 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 go. You're really listening to your body. You're listening to how you feel. You're listening to where your mind is at, where your heart is at, where your stomach is at. I am doing something very special tomorrow. I'm gonna be going to my sound bath and I am going to meditate for a very long time. Tomorrow is a very special day. It's a full moon, and I am gonna meditate and embrace it. We did it. Day number six completed. We did it. 
about to get myself together and go to sleep. See you guys tomorrow on the last video. What's up everybody? It's me, Nathan Pell. I am excited to share with you guys that I have completed seven days of fasting, seven days of not eating anything. Today on my last day, I literally just went for a walk on a beach. I sat down and I meditated for one entire hour. I feel more than super accomplished. I feel like I stuck to what I said I was going to do. I'm closing out my fasting experience with a nice sound bath. I sat down and I meditated for one hour. And by me meditating for one hour, I wanted to set my intentions. You know, with something like this, I wanted to just set my intentions out into the universe and have better clarity on how I'm gonna move forward living my life. And this experience has been a challenge, but a wonderful challenge, a beautiful experience. And some of the challenges is that I have a better understanding of myself, a better understanding of my surroundings, people around me, and I have a better understanding of vision and feelings and what real feelings are. I learned that just because your stomach hurts, it doesn't mean that you're hungry. And anybody taking on this journey and feels like they want to take on this journey, those feelings are all temporary. And I've learned that the biggest challenge is you in front of you. You know, it's everything that's happening up here and in your reality. Yesterday, I watched people eat, you know, I just see how tempting. I wanted to tempt myself. I put myself through a challenge of just watching my friends eat some really delicious food. Hearing the food chewing in their mouth, watching it and see if I could push myself to the edge. And I did, I did not eat, I did not, um, I definitely was able to withheld from going forward to eating. And um, I ended up just going to sleep, but I woke up this morning and I was just like, yes, I did it. I've tried this many times where I wanted to fast for a certain amount of days and I couldn't do it. I did day one, two, and then I eat on day two. Failed multiple times to get to this point of not eating for seven days, but it was multiple tries. I tried multiple times and I could not get it, but I am very proud of myself to get into this point. So like I said, I'm breaking my fast today. I broke my fast at a sound bath. And this is what it looks like. Fast is completed, guys. Seven days done. I realize I have more patience with people, believe it or not. Um, and most importantly, I have more patience with myself. To anybody on this journey, write down notes, see what's changed, embrace the change, and have fun with it. Realize you don't even have to eat as much as we've been conditioned to eat, right? I'm gonna break my fast with some vegetables, soft vegetables, avocados, tomatoes, very meticulous about what I'm gonna put in my body now. I'm like, man, now it makes me wanna question everything that I'm eating, right? And I do question everything that I am eating. However, I want to even be more careful on the products that I'm putting in my body. Because right now, I, I feel good, I feel light, I feel easy, I have a clear mind. I just want to be very meticulous about those things. I've completed day seven, this is day seven. I am done, I am, contract is signed, sealed, and delivered glasses on. It's me, Nathan Pell, and I have completed seven days of fasting. I just wanted to share something with you guys and leave you all with a nice little gem from my book on a positive note, 10 steps to a positive mindset. Negativity attract negativity and positivity attracts positivity. So if you have negative people around you and you're the only one trying to be positive, eventually, guess who's gonna eventually become negative? Be around people who are positive. Remember that. Take a look around, see who you call your friends. Are they negative? Is this person negative? That person negative? Are they positive? Is this person positive? Is they negative? And remove the negative people out of your life because you're gonna feel a lightness after that. Instead of hanging around people that will accompany you in your misery, find people that will pull you out of it. Find people that's finding the good in, in things. Yes, this world is fucked up. We know that this world is messed up, but find people that find the good in this world. Find people that find good in situations. So find people that are positive thinkers. That's an easy one to do. Look around, that motherfucker's negative, that motherfucker's negative, that motherfucker's positive, that motherfucker's positive. I bet I'm gonna get away from the negative people and I'm gonna focus on the positive people. Positive energy begets positive energy. Don't forget that.
Let's focus on that. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Nathan Pell, and I am here to sit down with you to say I have completed seven days of fasting. There are no more days, and I am thrilled to say that I am going to share my first bite of eating with you guys. This is the first thing I will be eating, and it smells so good, and I mean really good. I am excited to share this moment with you guys. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Right now, we're going to have avocados and some tomatoes. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I'm about to eat this right in front of you. And I'm about to break my fat. I could have broke it yesterday at two o'clock, but I said, you know what? I'm going to wait till Sunday morning to break it. Right now it's Sunday morning and it is 4 a.m. and I am breaking it with you guys. So first thing I'm going to do is... Wow, wow, well worth it. I decided to eat avocados and tomatoes because it's nothing but life on this plate. I'm only focusing on food that's giving me life. Foods that have life in it and give life. This is wonderful. This is this, my goodness. This is just pure goodness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I just wanted to do this with you guys. This has been a journey. And oh my gosh, look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. It's avocados and tomatoes. That's it. Mm. 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 Such an appreciation for food, man. Real food. Leave the life in the food. Man, this thing is giving me life right now. It's giving me more life. Delicious. Wow, what a way to get the metabolism going this morning. It's like I'm in a dream sequence. It's like I'm in Avatar. That's what it feels like. You know, watching Avatar, you see the feeling that you get when watching it. This is like being in it. It's like I am an Avatar right now. This journey has opened up my mind, cleared some past traumas, enlightened me. Gave me more appreciation for life, people, past, present, and created a clear runway for the future. Like I expressed before, I tried this a few other times and I was not successful at it. But like life, when you fall down, get up and try again. And we completed it. We did it. We got it done. Words can't even express how I feel right now. I'm seeing so many colors. I'm seeing music right now. Wow. Wowzer. Mm. This is good. See you later.